God. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise what the Allah. Fuck? Again, Mike Tyson Savage Moments Day. That's what we got. Somebody recommend it. If you want to recommend a video and want it to be reacted to, recommend down below. That's how it happens. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe. We have Mike Tyson reactions on this channel. I reacted to his whole documentary, all his knockout. So go check that out. Um, that's how I waste some time. Tyson, his most savage moment. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God, and Muhammad blesses and peace be upon him as his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, I'm man. What? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, professional ever? Assalamu um, alaikum, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox. I'm coming for you. Mike, is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this in seven or eight seconds? For this fight. I only trained oh, probably shit. two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend, and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the Whoa. best. Ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My oh, my God. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise what the Allah. Fuck! You want to do what? I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I cannot lie to you, bro, I can't lie, I cannot lie to you, if a man talks to me like this, he has that shit, I'm not even going to grab the gun, nigga, I'm moving, nigga, I'm going off the planet, nigga, I'm acting like the CIA is chasing me, nigga, this nigga will never find me, he wants to eat my what, my heart, nah, bro, you got that shit, bro, like, you want some cannibalistic shit, bro, like, I ain't with that shit, bro, I want some real shit, bro, I'm not, I'm not, bro, I can't, can't bro like if i was a boxer i would not want to fight this man after that if he called me out i would have act like i was there i would have been helen keller i wouldn't have seen or heard a thing now mike the bike bad man who uh, Floyd talking about greater than ali he, he he's very delusional <laughs> he can't listen um if he if he was anywhere near that um that realm of greater than ali he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself oh shit. Okay, he can't take he can't take his kid to school by himself. And he talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kid alone to to school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small scared man. I don't like that, my Floyd. I'm just looking forward for the win. If Douglas beats Holyfield, it looks as though you've got a rematch with Buster. Some people think you'll stiff Alex Stewart and not fight him in December. No, he, he shouldn't believe that at all. Because you know why? Because after, because after I, I've kicked Stewart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight, and then regain my title. And hopefully, I can fight Ray the Ruddick or this other guy, George Foreman, before he die of you know what I mean, rigor mortis. What the fuck? Mike, you seem to be incensed about criticism that you've received. What's your feeling about the criticism? These guys never fought in their damn life, and still they're going to be um, um, they're psychologists and say, I, I'm a squam, Swami, and I could look at Mike Tyson's brain and I tell from by the way he's acting, this is what he's thinking, which is, you know what I mean? And um, the only thing that's unbelievable is that the public believes this, you know what I mean? And they believe this, and I, you know what I mean? These guys are idiots, you know what I mean? They, they never fought a, a day in their life, and then but these are the same guys that talk about me on television, like I'm some dibbling moron, I don't see what, I don't see them on television, people don't tell me, they say, hey Mike, how you doing? You look in great shape, you look good, man. Boy, you, man, please, man, have the, Get in my face and Mike, I think you're an individual. They can't say I'm a bum, I'm not a good fighter, because, you know what I mean, three and a half years and 11 defenses proved it. You know, they can't say that. I'm so back to say, Mike, you're a hell of a fighter, but I think you're a Bro, dude. like, I'm frozen. Like, I'm scared to talk. This man, like, I ain't gonna lie, the aura of this dude, just him speaking. I ain't gonna lie. That's the way he speaks.
Nigga, I hate your attitude. I hate Scared what you're for, you know what I mean? Whatever. I mean, have the guts to say that. I got rid of them, and then I got caught up with this other piece of shit, Don King. Who's a wretched, who's nah, a that wretched nigga. Oh. slimy reptilian motherfucker? Nah, Don but, King um, is the greatest finesse god in history. We watched the documentary. I cannot lie. You gotta just clap it up for a finesse like this. This may be the best scammer of all time, literally. And he looks like one of the troll dolls. I can't get over it. How do you get? How do you get scammed by a troll doll? Like I don't. This get supposed it. to be my. This but he's one of them. My brother, my black brother. Right, he's just um, he's just a bad man. He's a real bad man. He abused you, and he would, no, he, he, would he would he would kill him. You don't see this right here? You gonna keep leaving me down bad like this and not subscribe? Come on, please, my brother, please. His mother for a dollar. He's ruthless. He's un, he's deplorable. He doesn't know how to love anybody. That's just the way he is. Don Don King has a body. I think Don King actually killed somebody before. If I'm not mistaken. Put your mother in a straight jacket, you punk ass huh? white boy. Come in, tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. Hold up, hold up. What did he say? Jackie, you punk ass white boy. Come in, tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. You faggot. You can't touch me. You're not mad. You know how you know. Uh, you want to know how you know Mike Tyson was really about that shit? When he said that, no man. Fuck you in your ass. You no man. On his team, looked at him in a weird way. Not one. I was looking for it. He looked. Now he, I ain't gonna lie. Because he was thinking some of the shit may apply to me. So, like, I understand him looking like that. Because, look, I mean, what he just said. And look, and what he just said. Look, what he just said. Look. So, I get that. But nobody else looked at him weirdly. Punk white boy. You faggot. Look. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. What the fuck? Fuck you, you hoe. Come and stay in my face. I'm fucking your ass for that. Everybody. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white You gotta be scared, too. You're scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Huh? <laughs> I was paying that day, but it was gonna hurt. Mike, uh, Francois, both a six to one underdog. Are there any concerns <laughs> on your part? <laughs> no, I go six to one underdog. What did you do? Day, but it was gonna hurt. What? what would you do? Man, I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. <laughs> what, 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 what would you do? Well, Nigga, I would have ran. Like, uh, I would have been out the building. Like a lot, because the bro sees you in the vicinity. He is gonna unleash. The wrath of Kratos on you, my nigga. This is the real life Kratos. Francois, both a six to one underdog. Are there Jake Paul, I ain't gonna I'm scared for you. I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill the... this mother? Huh? Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does what that... about it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. <laughs> You take into the ring a lot of rage. Bro, the commentator looks scared to accent, and he's on a whole different. He's on a whole different set than this man. Look at his comp. Look, look at his composure. This man looks frightened, and he's nowhere near. Does that work for you, or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Evander Holyfield worked against you. Well. F it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? He's well, scared. I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. He's scared. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. <laughs> F off. I'm 36 years old, going to 36. Bro had to be as nice as possible, because he said, if I ever run into this man in real life, it's over. He knew. Fuck it, dude. I ain't gonna lie, I don't blame him though. Cause shit, I ain't, I, 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 I'm not disrespecting me. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. I'm having as much money as I did. I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. I may like fornicating more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? If I wish one of your guys had children, if I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp them in the their testicles, so you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have. I ain't gonna lie. If day. this video was new, I would have said this is AI. Cause it's no way. Like, it's no way. It's no way. This man, we just saying shit. 
that you can win this fight. Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interview with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you want to. <laughs> what, what, what did you think in that? Nah, this nigga Mike was crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Unless you wanna. You shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you wanna. Unless you wanna. Hey, <laughs> dude, nah, you know he was trying to say. You shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you wanna. Tell me, what did you think? Nah, Mike was crazy. He was moving, trying to do an Ali no, with his left. I know, when I, when I came to this fight, I was the best fighter in the world, and I'm in live that can beat me. What broke him down? Was it just the body punches? When I was I was hitting him with body punches, and I heard him actually he was crying in there, huh? making woman gestures like oh 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 I can't how find it, but I knew that he was breaking down soon. You're saying that Biggs was crying when yes. you were hit him? Yes. When when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. So that you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, but I knew he was he was tough in there taking those punches. Boys for the opportunity, because now I know there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to take Razor Ruddick out, you know what I mean? It's good that he shows his heart that he's a great fighter and he want to take me. But I guarantee you the floor will even be more slower. If you're um, trying to intimidate, intimidate me in any way whatsoever, don't you know that doesn't work? Didn't you try it the first time? But you looking, you but you, I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to lie. Is that Buster Douglas? I think it is. He's, he's still scared. He's not even looking at him. He's looking at the ground. Jesus Christ. You don't see this right here? You gonna keep leaving me down bad like this and not subscribe? Come on, please, my brother, please. This is bad. Yo. But you're unhack the same ignorance you usually hack all the time. We're gonna fight any which way it goes. So just accept that and come in and do the best you can. I dare you talk to me like that. You should you should get up and kneel to me now and I spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> oh, shit. I'd also say you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm gonna come oh. ready. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know why you talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. M Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. He's a, he's a ignorant little kid, you know what I mean? And uh, he's going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level, so I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight, and that's the bottom line. Oh, man, I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. This nigga talking like a, But it's like a super villain a press conference, bro. It's like when the super villain then took over the fucking the news station in the city, and he giving a PSA. And she said, I don't know why you talking like that. You know I'd kill you for it. Oh, I wouldn't have said another word. I'm not going to lie, bro. Hey, you, you know something? I'm not even going to um, dignify that with a hand. So you know why I'm not dignify that with a hand? Because I'm going to bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class, and you don't got none of that. You're sweet. I'm going to make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. <laughs> and, uh, hey, man. Hey, man. He really did bite a nigga arrow. I ain't going to lie. He bit a nigga arrow. And he tried to bite those. Holyfield is very unhappy. Look at this. He, he tried to turn it. Bro, he really, he really tried to give it a hell of a killer. Tried to make a death. And blind at the same time. He was hitting him in his eyes. Like a lie. He was trying to hit him in his face, blind him, and make him death. Mike was doing the Mike made this man have a disability for the rest of the That's how you know Mike is different. Did he swallow the ear? I need a question. I think he spit it. I think he spit it out. I wouldn't have been surprised if he swallowed. Now what is the referee going to do about that? I'm gonna lie, Evander is a little tough to still fight. One point deduction for Tyson. It's a point deduction? How the fuck you don't get DQ? Now let's take a look again. But I ain't gonna lie, everybody always gets on Mike. I kind of respect Mike for the shit. I may have a hot take. If I'm getting headbutted by the fucking cranium of a Vander Holyfield, nigga, I'm biting something too, Paul. No, did That's just me, though. I'm getting headbutted. Pay coon. Nigga, Mike probably felt like he was getting hit by a fucking 10 pound weight. 30 pound weight. Look up, headbutt. He hit, came up with his head again. And Mike said, man, fuck this shit. One yeah, he bites him there. You see him lift his teeth. And Holyfield in agony at that point, trying to rip free. Oh, he spit that shit up. 
Mike let his guard well, down too. Look how he's looking at it. The second round, which opened the gash on your eye. Tell us about that first. Um, he butted me um, in the first round, but then he butted me again in the second round. Then as soon as he butted me, I watched him. He had me holding him. He looked right at me, and I saw him, and he was going for it. And he kept going flying. He butted me again. He kept going down and coming up. And he Told you, look, if you look at it, he and came up and butted him. No one, him. No one gave him, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. Like I got children to raise. And this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. Now, immediately, you stopped. You stopped fighting immediately right there. And you turned to Mills Lane and you he said, did. He did. He put his hands down because he knew, but he kept getting buddy. He, he said, I already bit the shit out. The nigga, he was like, if you want to still fight after this, and he, the I would have dropped nothing. But what did you say to Mills right at that time? He's really spared. I don't remember. I told him that he buttoned me, but I know I complained about being hey, and, we, and we complained about the um, the first fight. Listen, Holyfield's not the tough warrior everyone says he is. He got a little nicks on him there and he quit. I got an eye, I got one eye. I got one eye. He's not impaired. He got ears. I got one eye. Big deal. Well, Mike. One. I'm ready to fight. Well, Mike. Fight. That throw your balance off. Mills Lane, no. Mills Lane stopped the fight. It wasn't Holyfield who stopped it. Oh, he didn't want to fight. Oh, he didn't want to fight. Let me ask. Let me ask. We don't know what Mills did. Don't quit nothing okay, on Mills. Okay. Well, Mills said he stopped the fight. You bit him. Was that a retaliation for the eye when you bit him in his ear? Regardless of what I did, he bit butt me for two fights. But you got to address it, Mike. Why I did, did you address it. No, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring. Hey, bro, you better eye right. a lot. You don't see this right here? You gonna keep leaving me down bad like this and not subscribe? Come on, please, my brother, please. I ain't gonna lie. He still, he still, um, he still, uh, commentates and shit too. I respect him, cause I'm not gonna keep asking no man no questions when he get mad like this. Maybe I'ma just, maybe, I, maybe this just showed me I'm a fuck. Maybe it showed me I'm not the man I thought I was. Because I'm not gonna keep asking this man some questions, and I see him visibly getting madder and madder. I'll be like, Mike. Thanks for your time. Have a great night. Did it taste good? Pause! That sounded great. Did you do that though, Mike? I mean, was look that the proper me. response? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got to go home. My kids are going to be scared of me. Look at me, man. Yeah, man. I ain't what are you going to do now in terms of your career, Mike? Well, you <laughs> He's still acting. Okay. But yeah, okay. Yeah, but wow. Well, extraordinary stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> that does. What happened at the end of the round? I don't know. He got rough with me. I got rough back. What did you say? He talked more than I did. What did he say? It's some bad things, real nasty things. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? I said, white boy, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Uh, we, we had spoke earlier today. You uh, can't define me. I uh, define my work as a father. I'm many things, you know. I'm many things. Yeah, I'm a convicted rapist. I'm 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 a I'm a hell raiser. I'm a father, a loving father. I'm a I'm a, you know I'm a semi good husband. You know what I mean? What? You know what I mean? I'm just a man out here trying to enjoy my. I, I was born poor. I ain't never had nothing. Man. I don't know how to act. All right. But the real thing is, I'm just. I'm just here to be me. I don't care what uh, you, think you know what I am or who or who anyone thinks I am um, at this stage of my life. But um, yeah, I'm a pretty much of a tyrant titan. Yeah, that's who I Man, am. Listen, right? I don't know nothing about being heavyweight champ. I only know I know how to fight, right? I'm a nigga, right? <laughs> oh shit! You no, know, really, 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 really. I'm not saying like I'm a black person. You know, but I'm, just, I'm a street person. I'm so I don't even want to be a street person. I don't even like. I don't even like typical street people. But that's just who I became and what happened in my life and the tragedies in life that made me that way. But, you know, I'm Mike. You know, I'm not malevolent or anything. I just am. And I just want to just, just live my life. And uh, I know you guys talk bad about me and you got a really bad snig out there about me. But you gonna, I'm going to make sure you talk about me. <clears throat> your grandkids and your kids after that are going to know about me. I'm going to make sure of that. They're never gonna forget about me. The great grandkids are gonna say, "Wow, wasn't that a bizarre individual?" He didn't lie. I don't think we ever forget about Mike, ever in life. I don't think we we'll ever forget about Mike. He's for sure right about that. His grandkids, my grandkids, your grandkids, my grandkids, and my grandkid grandkids will probably hear the name Mike Dice. Especially after the video we watched. I don't know if I want my grandkids to know this, man. Because this is going to give them nightmares. It's honestly one of the scariest things I've ever watched in my life. I was scared plenty of times in this video for individuals that I don't even know. Let me know what you guys think, man. What was the most savage mo moment? Him telling him he'll make him love him. He'll F him until he loves him, you F word. It was the craziest thing. I'm not going to lie. Let me know what you guys think down below. Recommend some more videos. 
Go check out this Mike Tyson reaction on the screen right now. Or go check out some other videos on the channel, man. I love y'all, man. I'm out.